Good morning, dear friends. This is Bishop Robert Barron of the Diocese of Winona, Rochester. And I welcome you to this televised liturgy. Lord, on the higher gifts, on the things that come from your maker in heaven, these three gifts are all that remain, faithful and love, and the greatest is love. And if I understand Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. As we come together to celebrate this liturgy, we come mindful of our need of God's mercy and forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who in the abundance of your kindness surpass the merits and the desires of those who entreat you, pour out your mercy upon us to pardon what conscience dreads and to give what prayer does not dare to ask. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Habakkuk. How long, O Lord, I cry for help, but you do not listen. I cry out to you violence, but you do not intervene. Why do you let me see ruin? Why must I look at misery? Destruction and violence are before me. There is strife and clamorous discord. Then the Lord answered me and said, write down the vision clearly upon the tablets so that one can read it readily, for the vision still has its time, presses on to fulfillment and will not disappoint it. If it delays, wait for it. It will surely come, it will not be late. The rash one has no integrity, but the just one, because of his faith, shall live. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come, let us sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us acclaim the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us joyfully sing psalms to him. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. 
Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord who made us, for he is our God, and we are the people he shepherds, the flock he guides. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Oh, that today you would hear his voice, harden not your hearts, as at Meribah, as in the day of Massa in the desert, where your fathers tempted me, they tested me, though they had not seen my works. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, I remind you to stir into flame the gift of God that you have through the imposition of my hands. For God did not give us a spirit of cowardice, but rather of power and love and self-control. So do not be ashamed of your testimony to our Lord, nor of me, a prisoner, for his sake, but bear your share of hardship for the gospel with the strength that comes from God. Take as your norm the sound words that you heard from me in the faith and love that are in Christ Jesus. Guard this rich trust with the help of the Holy Spirit that dwells within us. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. The word of the Lord remains forever. This is the word that has been proclaimed to you. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The apostles said to the Lord, increase our faith. The Lord replied, if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you would say to this mulberry tree, be uprooted and planted in the sea, and it would obey you. Who among you would say to your servant who has just come in from plowing or tending sheep in the field, come here immediately and take your place at table? Would he not rather say to him, prepare something for me to eat? Put on your apron and wait for on me while I eat and drink. You may eat and drink when I am finished. Is he grateful to that servant because he did what was commanded? So should it be with you. When you have done all that you have been commanded, say we are unprofitable servants. We have done what we were obliged to do. The Gospel of the Lord. Lord Every day, every weekend is an opportunity to reflect on sacred scripture in a variety of ways. And when we look at the three readings today, we are given a a relative smorgasbord of possibilities. And most people know that I don't take the opportunity to speak at all three readings because most homilies are too long. And so I'd like to keep things short. But as I was thinking about these readings for today, uh, I am reminded, uh, especially in the first reading from Habakkuk, how uh, we do tend to cry in in the times of need. Uh, You and I both know that that there are times in our own lives where we have had experiences of great need, Uh, perhaps a a difficulty with a family member, uh, a loss of a loved one, uh, something difficult at work, uh, a neighbor that we may not like so much. The list goes on and on of those things that we sometimes carry in our hearts. And, And we have to keep trying to do our best to call upon the name of the Lord to bring the Lord into those situations. I remember years ago uh, when Bishop Harrington was our bishop, uh, he would often say, I, I said to him, I was going into a meeting pretty soon and I, I think it might be kind of a, um, an interesting meeting. He goes, what do you mean interesting? I said, it's going to be a hard meeting. It might be a challenging meeting, a difficult meeting. And he says, well, I know how to deal with that. And I said, well, what? He goes, you send the Holy Spirit ahead of you. Say a prayer asking the Holy Spirit to guide you in this meeting. And it was amazing to me because that's exactly what I did and that's exactly what happened. Uh, Be careful what you ask for. And so in in Habakkuk, we are reminded 
uh, to ask for what we need. Uh, life can be very challenging. Uh, we cry for help like Habakkuk, but we know ultimately the Lord will answer. We stand now to profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For our men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Confident in the love of the Father and in the promises of his Son, let us make our request known to God. Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, that it may be a fruitful vineyard built around Christ, the true vine, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who govern, may they respect the lives of all their citizens from the moment of conception to the moment of natural death, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the end to violence, especially against innocent children, we pray to the Lord. Lord. Hear our prayer. For farmers, migrant workers, and all who labor in the field to provide food for our tables, we pray to the Lord. Lord. Hear our prayer. That those who are ill in mind or body, that God may restore them to health, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our own needs and intentions that we recall in the silence of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Heavenly Father, you are a generous creator who provides us all that is good. Hear the prayers of your church and grant them, if it be your will, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands, and through the sacred mysteries which we celebrate with dutiful service, graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us, through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself, that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Grant us, almighty God, that we may be refreshed and nourished by the same sacrament which we have received as to be transformed into what we consume. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you. May almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining us for the Sunday's televised Mass. Hope it's brought you spiritual joy and comfort this day. 
If this Mass has helped you or someone you know, please consider sending a donation to the address on the screen or by visiting our website at dowr.org and clicking the weekly Mass icon. Thank you all, and God bless you. Oh,